I can remember some of them thinking that we're going to kill them. They'd tell me, well, I know you're going to kill me, but I want to call my mama first. <laughs> water had pressure behind it. It hurt.
Praise and pray. Uh -huh. And seek my face. Y'all got to know how to seek God's face. And turn from their wicked ways. Y'all got to turn from y'all wicked ways. That's right. Y'all got to turn from y'all wickedness. Well, we out here teaching that we are the Israelites, sissy. Then let us talk to you for one second. All right, do you, do you know who the Israelites are in the Bible? Yeah, God told me. Do you know that you are an Israelite? Okay, you know that you are an Israelite. How do you know that you are an Israelite? Huh? You were saved, that made you an Israelite? That ain't what make you an Israelite. You are an Israelite by birth. That's right. It's in your bloodline, sister. You come from the same bloodline as Jesus the Christ. That's right. That's right. Did you know that? What color is Jesus? Hold on. All right, hold on right quick. Hold on. I'm gonna ask, can I ask your children a question? Who, your grandchildren. Who is this, y'all? Who they say this is? They say it's who? They say it, say it again. Who is that? Who they, who they tell us that's him? They say that's Jesus. See, this is the problem. That's right. Our kids think a white man is the best man that walked on the earth. They think this Jesus Christ. Hold it up and so they can see it out. That ain't Jesus Christ. That's a damn white man named Cedar Morgell. Get out. Pope Alexander the sixth son. He paid Leonardo da Vinci money to paint his son as Jesus Christ. Get out. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. This is the root of white supremacy. Right. This is the root of black on black crime. Cause your kids think that what? The greatest man to ever walk the earth was a white man. And they hate each other. This one got, hey, and they walked out. This the greatest knowledge ever. You ain't gonna hear this in the Christian church. That's right. Give me a. Uh, Martin Luther King ain't never read out the Bible. Y'all show me one speech he read out the Bible. Show me one video clip where he was reading out the Bible. Check it out. No, he was reading my hot gun. That's right. Martin Luther King wasn't reading out the Bible. We are the prophecy against it. Y'all following a false dream. Long as you fall in the dream, guess what you is? You sleep. That's right. It's time for the black man to wake up. Now give me uh, Isaiah 51 and verse 9. It's time for the black man to stand up. Bring it out. It is what it is. Y'all want the white gangs in our community, drugs in our community, prostitution in our community. Because the word of God coming out of God looking at us like we crazy. That's right. That's why our communities are in the way they in. That's right. Our women need to learn how to dress all over again. Our men need to learn how to dress all over again. The black woman need to learn her place according to God all over again. That's, That's right. right. The book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 9. Awake, awake. God said do what? Awake. Awake! God said awake, awake, black man! Quit living out a dream! How you gonna how you gonna be awake and you walk and fall in a damn dream? That's right. That we supposed to join hands with the white man. That ain't nowhere in the Bible. God created the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. He created to the Y'all gonna wear a hole in the bottom of y'all foot so with all this marching. Keep reading. They lie at the head of all the streets. He said his sons don't faint it, and they lie in the heads of all the streets. Bring it out, Doc. If you don't believe it, go ride through me. That's Every right. Every street corner you go to, you got young black men. Don't know, you don't got nothing to do. Because we out here reading the Bible. What are y'all doing? Bring it out. Y'all standing in the line in the cold to go see a false dream. When you gonna wake up out of this dream? That's right. You know, when you gonna wake up out of sleep, black man? What's your question, sister? What about the young black folks that's, that's around my age? I'm 25. What about those who ready to stand up who are woke, but they don't believe in the Bible? They don't have faith in the Bible because it has got us. They think it's a chain of no, I didn't know change. Christianity is a train of mental slavery. That's right. 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 Not the Holy Bible. Give me Baruch chapter 4 and verse 28. See, the Bible, the Bible, the words ain't changed in the Bible. That's right. Christianity changed the words in your mind. That's right. We ain't teaching Christianity. That's right. Christianity was bought over here by the so-called white man. Baruch 4 and 28. 
Maccabees, bro. Chapter, chapter 4 and verse 28. See, the words in the Bible ain't changed. I'm going to show you what the Bible say changed. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 28. Uh-huh. For as he was your mind to go astray. Read it slow. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 28. Yeah. For as it was your mind to go astray. It was our minds to go astray from the Bring Bible. The words ain't changed. The Bible don't contradict itself one time. Our minds contradict itself. Read. From God. Uh -huh. So be returned. Seek him ten times more. So That's right. The Bible, we got to seek God ten times more because our minds have went astray from the Bible. You understand that? So it ain't number one truth. Give me Psalm 119, verse 142. Bring it out. You can't expect for our people to get themselves together if they not come together in the word of God. That's this is right. the only true book on, on, on the planet. This is the only true book going to tell you what happened to you, what's going to happen to you, and what's going on right now. This is the only true book, sister. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. God said that his righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law is the truth. The laws of God is the truth. Not Martin Luther King speaks is the truth. God laws give him proof for one. Read out. This book right here is the only true book. And it got God laws. It's going to tell us what to eat, what not to eat, what, how to treat each other. But black people, we don't go by this book. Read. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. This book right here is the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law that endureth forever. It said the law that endureth forever. This book don't never go away. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. It said all they that keep the book and keep the law said we're going to come to life. That's the only way we going to live. Because we're not following this book, that's why we die. That's right. That's why we would get sprayed with the water hose. That's why we was getting them dogs sick on us. Because we had strayed away from this book. And God was angry with us. Give me those little runs with seven. We are different. God created us separate than everybody. Bring it out, dog. We do everything better than every other nation on this planet. But we don't even not consider. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Uh, that's right. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said that your black man is a holy people to him. The Hispanic man, we are holy to God. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God chose us to be special unto himself. That's he didn't right. choose the white man to be special unto him. He didn't choose the Japanese man to be special unto him. He didn't choose the Africans to be special unto him. That's he right. chose you so-called black, Hispanic, and the Native Americans to be separate unto him. That's Free. right. Above all people. No, what? Above all people. No, Dr. Luther King said, what? Well, we got to be equal to the damn white man. Above all people. The Most High God created us to be above all nations on this earth. That's right. But since y'all don't want to listen to this Bible, since you want to do what you want to do, and God is our Heavenly Father, that's why we suffered in the condition we in. That's oh, right. That's why we got packed on cargo slave ships and brought to a land that we did not know. Because we are God's chosen people. That's right. The word out again, now. Huh? The word, chapter 7, verse 6. Yeah, we're going to make a lot of people uncomfortable. But we're and holy people. God said that we are holy people. We different than everybody. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. God chose us. Excuse me, young man. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Come over here. I'm going to tell you. Oh, bring it up. Let's show, them, let's show them who we are. You see yourself on this side? On this side right here, you're going to see what you're going to find in the Bible. On this side, you're going to see what the slave master called us when they dumped us on them ships. Now, who are you according to the Bible? Tell me. You see yourself on this side? Tell me. I don't know your nationality according to your father, so I can't tell you who you are, who you are yet. That's why I'm asking you, do you know? No, I can't go through what you're saying. What is your father? Native American, your father's a Native American. Guess what? You are Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. 
And you are God's chosen people. Did you know that? That God created you to be above all people upon the face of the earth? Now see, you got Martin Luther King dream in your head. That we supposed to live to be equal to the damn white man. That's what you think. That's but God created up. his people are supposed to be above all people. And we went into slavery and we went through the civil rights movement because we disobeyed God's law of statutes and commandments. Yeah. And that was God's foot in our ass. Do you understand that? Right. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Bring it, it out, out, dog. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 3. This is what happened to us, all right? We don't want to do what God say do, so God put his foot in our ass. So we got to come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. Bring it out. I'm going to read the commandment to you, and you got to make a choice. Do you want the kingdom of God? Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Bring it out. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. God said that the Israelites, the people on this side, we're not supposed to make marriages with the other nations. Read. Thy daughter, thou shalt not give it to his son. He said we ain't supposed to give our daughters to their son. Read. Nor his daughter shall thou take it to thy son. And we ain't supposed to go marry his daughter. Read. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Bring it up. Turn away thy son from following the Most High God. You see what I'm saying? So, interracial marriage is against the Most High God. That's, That's right. right. You understand that? All right, bro. Thanks, you need bro. to know. You need to understand this Bible, bro. You see what I'm saying? Read that again. Read that again. See, this is how you know the Bible is true. This man up here with a white woman, and she have turned him away from God. Right. Read that again. Bring it up. Will turn away thy son from following me. God said that you go marry that white woman, and you go turn away from following the true God. Bring it up, dog. Huh? This is what we follow when he follows that white woman. He think they see. This is not Jesus Christ. Bring it out. This is a white boy named Caesar Borgia. Bring it out. We are here with the truth. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, we know you don't want to hear it. Y'all don't tell us lies since we got off those slave ships. Bring it out. Yeah, we know you don't know which way to go. Bring it out. Yeah. We're going to tell it like it is. Right. The greatest man to ever walk on the earth. Our children think he's a white man. Bring ain't it out. Ain't something wrong with that. And the Bible say that he's a black man. He had woolly hair. Ain't something wrong with that. Bring it out, huh? Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy, though. Bring it out, huh? the white man like he's crazy when he told this with Jesus. But y'all looking at us like we crazy. Bring it out, huh? And then y'all don't want to hear the truth. Y'all scared of the white man. That's right. Y'all scared of him. Y'all don't want to hear the truth. That Jesus Christ looks like you. Yes. He ain't hair of wool. Because they look at me like it don't matter. Bring it up. That's what's wrong with the black community. Y'all following Martin Luther King, and he following the American dream. He said, I have a dream, and it's deeply rooted in the American dream. Mm. That's what the American dream is. That's uh, right. The American dream is for the white man to keep his foot on your black ass neck. That's, That's right. right. That's the American dream. Bring it out, dog. His dream was deeply rooted in the American dream. Bring it out. Y'all out your damn mind. It's time for y'all to wake up. Bring it up. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 5. We read out the Holy Bible, black man. Read. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. God said that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. Read. Shall be burnt. To death. He said Martin Luther King won't get put to death. That's right. Bring it up. Because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God. He said That's God right. Martin Luther King has spoken to turn you away from the Bible. He said that you were, he was going to get put to death. That's right. Which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Read. And redeemed you out of the house of bondage. Read. To thrust thee out of the way. It's time for the black man to wake up. Y'all following the false dream. Cold in here, now. Do y'all understand that? Y'all trying to live to be equal to the white man when God already created you to be above the white man? That's right. That's right. That's what Martin Luther King should have been doing. He should have been reading the Bible. Y'all going there one time, he got a thousand speeches, but he ain't going to never read out the Bible. That's right. Y'all got to pay attention to that. 
He reads speeches, but he ain't reading out the Bible. Chapter 23 and verse 27. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Bring it Read. up. Woe be unto the pastors. God said, Woe be unto you, pastors. We know some of y'all out here preachers going off in that building. Read. But God said, Destruction. Read. That destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Read. Says the Lord. Read. Therefore, Thus says the Lord God of Israel. This is what God said. We read the Bible. Read. Verse 25. Read. I have heard what the prophet said. Read God up. said he heard what the prophet said. Read. That prophesy lies in my name. That prophesy lies in God's name. Because Dr. Martin Luther King told me he was a reverend. But never one time did he read out the Bible. Yeah. Read yeah. it up. Do you know one time how you ever seen a speech? Or you go in there to Dr. Martin Luther King read out the Bible? Name me what scripture he said. Have you ever heard Dr. Martin Luther King read out the Bible? That was what he a reverend though. See, that's what caused our people to hurt right now because we fall in a dream that, that is not in the Bible. Dr. Martin Luther King dream is not of the Bible. That's right. God told us to be separate from all people, bro. Bring it up! We are royal priests. So give me, give me second Peter, chapter two and nine. That's God right. Tells us to be different. See, we out here reading the Bible. The rest of the black men, they got their kids, they walking in their building, they walking out. We out here reading the Bible, they looking at us like we crazy. You see what I'm saying? You gonna go in there, this is the book of life. These are the words of God. Read that. First Peter, chapter 2 and verse 9. This is what God said about us, listen. Bring it up! Chosen generation. God said that you so called blacks and Hispanics, we are chosen generation. That's right. right. We are God's chosen people. Read. A royal priesthood. God said that we are a royal priesthood. Read. And holy nation. We are a holy nation. We're not supposed to join hands with the other nations. We are already holy. That's right. Read. A peculiar people. Read. That ye should show forth thy praise we, of him. We're supposed to show forth God's praise. And guess what we doing right now? We out here prophesying against a false dream. That's reading right. the Holy Bible, showing forth God's praise That's in the cold. Right. Bring it out. In the cold. That's right. Did you know? Do you know who you are according to the Bible? You don't. You don't know who you are according to the Bible. What's your nationality? You African? See, that's the lie they told us. You ain't gonna find the word African nowhere in the Bible. You ain't gonna find the word American nowhere in the Bible. So you gotta ask yourself, who are you according to God? And if you are so-called African American, guess what? You are a child of Israel. Yes, right. right. You are from the tribe of Judah. Yes, right. You just got your your nationality. This is what the white man been hiding for us for all these years. Bring it they out. don't want us to know who we are according to God. Because if we find out who we are according to God and come out of the ways of America, guess what? They rulership gonna fall. That's right. They gonna fall. They don't want you to know that. They want to keep thinking you, teaching you that you are African American. Bring it out. So yeah. Now, I'm going to show you right quick how you know that we are the people of the Bible. Did you know the whole Bible is about you? Did you know the whole Bible is your history book? Did you know the whole Bible is about black people and not white people? Well, see, I'm going to show you how we know that we are the children of Israel. Give me the Romans 28, verse 15. Let me show you how we know that we are the people of the Bible. This is the greatest knowledge on earth. This is what everybody should be over here bringing their kids to see. That's right. That's right. That's but they right. don't want to do that. They want to take them in there and follow a false dream. They're going to grow up twerking. They're going to grow up in gang. They're going to grow up hating one another. Uh, feminine. They're going to grow up in feminine. They go to the Christian churches and guess what they come out? Homosexuals. We're going to tell it like it is. Church music, homosexuality. Make our men soft as hell. But we out here with the truth. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. This is how we know that we are the Israelites, black man. We are not African. We're not African American. We're not Negroes. We're not colored. We're not black. Black is the color of my, my jacket, my glove. We're not black. But the white man has conditioned our mind to believe that we are color in a damn crayon box. Bring it out. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. God said it was going to come to pass. He gave us an ultimatum. He said, look, if y'all do what I say, do." I'm going to bless you above all nations, man. Y'all going to be the richest people on earth. Then he said, if y'all don't do what I say, do something going to happen to you. And guess what our people did? What they doing now? 
They kept, they didn't want to listen to God. Now watch, I'm finna show you, read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Could you hear what he just said? Did you hear what he said? If not, I'm gonna read it again. Alright. Come on. Verse 16. Cursed shall not be in the city, and cursed shall not be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Hey, we ain't on that property, bro. Get on the street, bro. Yeah, get the camera.
and I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest them not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wife to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. So, so don't want me come out here to the wall, y'all, so we don't die in our iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hands. So we get all his blood off our hands today. Right. But we have been warning our people to come out of the ways of America. Come out of the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King. You got to come out of that. See, that's why that's the problem with the black folks. They think they know everything. Because they're old, don't make you know nothing. Because y'all built the earth and up, don't make you know nothing. Back in the 1960s, 
pussy suck when you had an afro before you put that perm in your head, black folks had something. That's right. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 16. For the leaders of this people caused them to act. And they that are led of them are destroyed. Y'all being led by a man that's going to destroy us. He done destroyed us. It's time for our people to wake up at this false dream of Martin Luther King. We have to no. prophesy against that. Teach, brother. Keep the commandments, brother. Yeah, yeah, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments, brother. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.